Over 30 years ago, we were touring the world, uh, my brothers and my father, and we got to see a little bit of everything. Then we decided to come off the road and settle down in Springfield, Missouri and open a music retail store. And ever since then, we've had some of the coolest instruments and even cooler people come through the door. Now we have cameras that follow us everywhere we go so you can see exactly what it's like to be at the Ozark Music Shop. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Ozark Music Shop. We are pretty excited this week to feature people we know. People we know? <laughs> yes. I don't really know them, but they work here. Uh, this <laughs> week, I'm still trying to figure out what their names are. Hey, you. Sure which one is which, but... Hey, you with the hat. That's what I say. Yeah. Anyway, we, we got a feature here of all the staff here at the Goose Shop. Not only do they sell instruments, make content, do wonderful things, they are also uh, musicians and artists themselves. That's right. And we wanted to feature them. So we got our very own Liz Carney. She's here. Trent Pruitt, uh, the mullet wonder. Um, <laughs> we got awesome. Jack the Mahead. Uh, what do we call Octopus him? Octopus Fingers. Fingers. Yeah. Uh, Corey, Corey uh, resident weirdo. Corey. It's Corey. <laughs> Corey Kirkland. I know it was Corey Kirkland. <laughs> anyway, great guitar player. Um, Reagan DeRozit. Yeah. Is, uh, That's one of the cool things about the shop is life. obviously we got into it because we love music, we played music our entire lives, but we've also had some like-minded individuals who also love music, it makes a perfect fit for a music shop, and uh, these guys, most of them still perform live on weekends or I, go on short tours, so why not uh, showcase them here in the I feel show. sorry for anybody that is like-minded with you. Hey, you got <laughs> birds of a feather and whatnot. And whatnot. Um, birds of a no, feather. But no, it's really a lot of fun. I, we always love to... Stop it. <laughs> Birds aren't Birds real, aren't guys. Birds aren't even real. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're really looking forward to highlighting our staff. Uh, I think you guys are going to enjoy it, too. And then when they come in, when you come into the shop next week, say, hey, I saw you on the TV. On you know? the TV. Anyway, an entire show of great music by the shop staff here. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, let her go, boys. That's a new and girls. girl. Don't want 
Someday, my baby, when I am a man, and others have taught me the best that they can. Love me a suit and cut all my hair, and send me to work in tall buildings. It's goodbye to the sunshine, goodbye to the dew, goodbye to the flowers, goodbye to you. I'm off to the subway, I must not be late. I'm going to work in tall buildings. When I retire, my life is my own. I made all the payments and it's time to go home. I wonder what happened betwixt and between when I went to work in tall buildings. And it's goodbye to the sunshine, goodbye to the dew. Goodbye to the flowers, goodbye to you. I'm off to the subway, it must not be late. I'm going to work in tall buildings. Yeah, uh, I think the most interesting uh, guitar players to me have always had a much more like melodic approach, and uh, that's always been at the forefront of my mind whenever I'm writing something. I'm usually trying to think of what's the most uh, pretty way to approach something. This is one that I've been working on for a couple of years, just stuff over time. Uh, this one's called Flying.
Growing up as a musical family was always awesome. We grew up with instruments in the home. We grew up playing with people at festivals and camps and jams and that sense of community that that music brings there's nothing that can replace that that group of people they're like family once you start playing music with them and it's an amazing thing the first guitar that i ever got that was all mine when i got it home it gave me this ability to play things that i had never played before and I think the best part about now working with other customers is now I get to connect them to an instrument. Then I can be able to send them home with a guitar, a banjo, mandolin, whatever it happens to be that is going to help them make the most of their abilities. Something we've found is there's kind of ripple effects that happen. When you send a guitar home with somebody, it's not just for that person, but then that ripples out to their family. And then they find other friends that are playing music. And then that brings together a whole new community where there's not one thing done in isolation. And it's so cool to be one part of that ripple. Now the greatest feeling is when these people come back and they're bringing back their own kids. They're bringing back other family members. And now they're putting together a whole new nucleus of musicians and creating a whole new community. And hopefully that continues throughout the rest of, you know, life. My name is Reagan Durasset, and today I'm playing a piece called Shagir. It's a 1944 viola piece by uh, Alan Havanis. And it, the name translates to Torchbearer, um, which I think is why I really like this piece because it's technically supposed to be in C major, very pure key, very open resonance, but there's going to be a lot of things that happen in the piece before we eventually kind of come back home to the, the pure um, musicality of C major.
I knew our staff was talented. I thought it was just at uh, answering phones and shipping instruments. But it turns out they're also incredible musicians, so see, I knew it all. See, that's I incredible. No now I have one I more thing to talk know. to them about. Because normally I'm just kind of like, ah, uh, what do you guys like to do? So what's, uh, you like things? <laughs> what about that baseball stop. game? Anybody, uh, anybody see the news this week? You, uh, do you watch the TV? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it is great. To have staff, we, we hire people that are also kind of into the music because 
you can't really talk about instruments and sell them to if you're like a car enthusiast. You're like, yeah, hey, I, I love race cars, but this guitar looks good in red. It doesn't work. <laughs> but people that play music, it. they can talk to people about it. You can't fake it. it. When you love music, and we want to have the real musicians here teaching and, and playing and selling. And well, that's the deal. Is not, not only are they uh, great staff, like you said, they play music, they teach music, they work with people in music. It, and we most are importantly, music they put up with us. So. Yeah. They yeah. deserve a full episode just for yeah, that. Exactly, <laughs> just feature them just for One of these days we'll get them an episode where they just talk about things that they have to put yeah, up with. Confessional. Yeah, we, we will be again. back again next week right here on KOZL. If you're watching us every Sunday night, we will be back. And then on Monday, all these get uploaded to YouTube and you will be able to watch them there. If you have this is your channels. very first time to watch the Ozark Music Shop, check out all the old episodes. There's like lots and lots of episodes. 150,000 of them. 150,000. Right. We're getting close to 100, though. We really? are getting not yes. 150,000. A lot of we episodes. Are close to do we have 100 episodes? You know what? They we always do those that. 100 episodes. We should do something with that. We with a cliffhanger. That. Hmm. Somebody, well, there you go. Somebody's going to die. <laughs> We're going to have to knock off one of the, one of the staff. Teachers. No, one of the staff. No, anyway, no, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We will be back again next week. Thank you all, and uh, have a great week. Y'all take care. No, no, no. It's all bad. Too long time.